आपका हृदय से आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री सी थोमस जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर participating in this uh, discussion on the demands for grants to the ministry of uh, uh, transport and highways sir this is a very important ministry as we all know uh, the road infrastructure is uh, very important for the growth of any country economic as well as social development of any country in india as per the available Uh, information in the nhai website we have around 132 lakh 1 lakh 32000 kilometers of national highways out of which more than 70000 kilometers are under, under the nhai now there are several projects proposed by the nhai the total amount of uh, allocation in the budget is 68000 uh, crores and the demand is for 1 lakh 99000 crores of course the demand is very correct and the uh, amount required is definitely more than 68000 rupees 68000 uh, 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 crore sir we ha- we are proposing we, the government is proposing so many highways including green highways greenfield highways and also express highways but i am constrained to mention that out of these greenfield highways and express highways there is no single highway express highway proposed in kerala we have few uh, green hi- greenfield highways proposed in kerala and also few other uh, highways out of which four are connecting my uh, constituency of these four one highway greenfield highway uh, nh85 starting starting from kochi to uh, kochi munar and teni uh, it is a, a, a some 132 kilometers uh, have, having a length of 122 no 152 kilometers Be, uh, more than 30 years back there was a proposal for constructing a bypass at uh, tripunathara which is uh, uh, connecting three constituencies kotayam chalakudi as well as ernakulam and a bypass for uh, having a length of more than 8 kilometers was proposed which was proposed to be constructed in two phases first phase was uh, 4 kilometers long for which 16 hectares of land was proposed to be acquired four hectares was were acquired more than 30 years back the balance land was frozen earlier mr our honorable member sri nk premajendran was mentioning when the uh, consultants are preparing the uh, project for the construction of highways they are not consulting the uh, members of parliament the representatives of that area that has happened here in this case also the consultants have prepared an alignment a new alignment for which we, uh, they have proposed a bypass from angamali to kochi which is avoiding this tripunathara bypass again this nh85 greenfield highways that also is avoiding the tripunathara bypass and more than 219 families are suffering now they could not do anything for the last 30 years for any construction in the land for any other purpose they cannot uh, they will they were not allowed to use this my humble request to the honorable minister i have already we have already represented to the nhai that uh, uh, I, i at least a stand alone project i understand that as per the nhai rules there can be a stand alone stand alone project which can be a spur connectivity uh, to tripunathara uh, from uh, this nh85 that is kochi Te, uh, kochi teni bypass kochi munar teni bypass that will save the life of 219 families 
Sir, I would request you, I have already represented it, uh, we all have represented it, uh, I would request you to take up this matter and give directions to the NHA authorities that while they construct the NH85, that is Greenfield Highway from Kochi, uh, Munar to Teni, they should construct a spur connectivity for the Tripunitra uh, town that is uh, connected to the uh, uh, Greenfield Highway. Sir, uh, there is a, another proposal for a, a con construction of uh, a new uh, Greenfield Highway parallel to the MC Road. MC Road is the first state highway in Kerala from Trivandrum to Angamali. There is a proposal for construction of a parallel Greenfield Highway to MC Road. And the length of the highway is more than 228 kilometers. I would request uh, the, uh, uh, the proposal is pending there. Uh, some alignment has been taken up, but no fund has been uh, allotted. So <coughs> immediate steps may be taken up for construction of a, a greenfield highway from Trivandrum to Angamali, <coughs> parallel to MC Road, uh, for which, which will help the present congestion in the MC Road. Uh, all through, uh, MC Road is more than uh, 200 kilometers long, along, and uh, parallel uh, Greenfield Highway will definitely uh, set off uh, the uh, congestion in the MC Road. Sir, the, uh, there is another proposal which has been agreed by the Honorable Minister uh, with our Honorable uh, Chief Minister. That is a, a road connecting from uh, NH 183 to 85, NH 85, starting from Kotayam, that is my, my own constituency, Kotayam via Palai to Todubira, then Undugal. Undugal is uh, connecting uh, NH 85. So 183 and uh, connecting 183 and 85. That proposal has been agreed to by Honourable Minister for uh, Morth and uh, with our uh, Honourable uh, uh, Chief Minister. But the pro uh, no further progress is there. This will help the uh, tourism potential in Kerala. Kerala is more, more famous for tourism. And Komaragam is just 15 kilometres away from the start point, starting point of this highway. And uh, uh, Unugal, from Unuel, you can go to Munar, Kumaragam and Munar, one uh, backwater station and uh, one hill station please that can conclude. be connected conclude, and uh, that uh, proposal should be taken up immediately. Sir, one, only one uh, proposal. Sir, the road safety people, uh, all the members were mentioning about this uh, road safety. There is a slight reduction of 12% in the road accidents during the last one year. <coughs> compared to the previous year. But the government should take steps to reduce the accidents. Uh, there are uh, people who are uh, driving after drinking. There are people who are over speeding. There is uh, jumping, jumping of the uh, traffic signals, uh, uh, driving using uh, mobile phones. Uh, then also Thank without you very much. seat belts. Thank you. Sir, these things should be restricted. Pre prevented and actions to, uh, should be taken against those uh, uh, people. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Sri Rajiv Pratap Rudiji.